Hey, and welcome to Alt One. In this video, we will once again run some robots, and this time is for manual signal robots. Uh, if you like this type of videos, make sure to push the subscribe button and the like button. Any question, leave them below the video. Also below the video, you find information on how you can get exact robot I'm going to use on this video completely for free. So now, uh, in two other videos, I have shown two other robots. This will be robot number three. I might test more, but in the end, I'm going to choose the one I like the most. But for you that is getting them for free, following the information below, you get every robot I'm sending you as uh, a zip file that includes all the robots I'm using in this video, so you can use them also. And the rules are as following. If I get a losing trade with a robot, we will use Martingale take the next signal with the robot till we get a winner. That's because in my channel, we are never going to lose one trade. That's the way we are <laughs> rolling here. So let's, uh, as this is a new robot, let's uh, take start bit with 100. Later on, when we have chosen a robot and we start to trust it, then we will uh, go in with higher bids. But that will not be in this video. So, this is the new one. <clears throat> As you pay attention, most of the robots I'm giving you that say IQ options do not need to be used at IQ options. The thing is, we will not use it there because the broker I'm using here now is worldwide. So, we keep it that way. We are not going to be using on IQ options. And it does not matter, you can use this on the broker in this video also. So, now let's see if we can get a signal. Uh, let's, uh, and I think we have followed the rule we did on the other video. When they push next signal, I, no, I think we'll take it right away. Let's take it right away. Let's try that. And let's see. He says sell. Okay, then we do sell. And then we will just wait and see if it's a loser we will change our bid to 250 and take another signal on another pair. Let's do like that. <clears throat> Actually, I did a mistake. We were supposed to do on this one. Sell here. Let's do that now. This one, uh, if we win, this one is basically just pure luck. But uh, let's wait and see, because we are not supposed to do <laughs> It was uh, for um, euro against dollar. Looks like we are lucky and get a winner with it. But the one we... Ah, we got a winner with it. So that's good. But the one that is the real trade looks maybe to be a loser. So we will not count the first trade. So when we do the uh, calculation after, we will not count this euro against Japanese yen because that was basically just a lucky trade. So now let's see, this is the first real trade. But I, I take $87 lucky money. I don't, <laughs> I don't complete, I don't, uh, I don't uh, be sad about that. But it looks like, uh, let's see now, we are hovering in and out of the money with the real trade. So now $87 free money, I take that any day of the week. So you see here now, the first trade looks to be a winner. We take that. Best if every trade is a winner, of course, but uh, we will not count on it. So there, first trade winner. Okay, perfect. <coughs> and I think we do like this now. Every signal we take, when I get the signal, I wait till next, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll see, I'll see. I have not decided 100% how to run it. So now let's see, now let's take another pair. Let's take this one. <coughs> and next signal. You see now it's 32 seconds and when I get signal all, I will take it on the end like I would have done normally. We do that way. We have a sell signal. Okay, then you wait 23 seconds and we will enter a trade down. And actually it's a trade I would have taken myself. So I'd like to see that because we are now in a resistant area and we are out of the bulge band and we are high with the stochastic. That's a trade for us. And this one, agree. So let's take it there. We are going down. 
Perfect. No, that trade I did actually like. Let's uh, try to pay attention now to the signals we get. If it's trade, I would have done myself. And yes, this is a trade I would have done myself. So that's something I like to see. So the reason with this robot is not automatic, but the thing is you don't need to think. So now the way we are running this robot is that we, um, when you get a signal, you wait for the, the timer you see there to go to zero and then you take the trade. So then we have more like a certain time to take the trade. It's no questions. So that's how we're running it from now on. It's a little learning curve for me also because I don't run these robots typically, but I will start to do now and then we need to make some type of rules for ourselves. So we are running them exactly the same, all of us. Uh, we got a winner. We are getting all the winners now. I don't complain. Uh, then let's take uh, this one. Then we take uh, the next trade here. Let's push. And he says buy. Okay. Then we may wait uh, 30 something seconds and we take a buy trade. So let's just wait then. We need to wait more 24 seconds and we'll take that trade. <coughs> this is a one I would not have traded myself. It's a no trade zone. I would just have taken maybe a buy trade down in this region there. But uh, yeah, let's see. And we go up there. This will be more a trend following trade. It's not the type of trade I'm taking. So, but let's see. So this is basically the first trade I would not have taken because it's not my trading style. I, I trade in support and resistance zone, basically only. So I think maybe this will be a loser. So let's take a 250 on the next. But um, we will not count our losers before they are losers. But yeah, this was a trade I would not have taken. So now let's wait more uh, 18 seconds. Maybe we get a winner here also. 10 seconds, we are very close. Just a small push up. But it's a loser. Okay completely okay then let's uh, take the next pair and uh, let's open that one then let's wait a little before we push next signal this time around here I would go for a buy trade let's see if we do the same so let's push now and he say neutral Okay, let's wait a little more then. Let's get a little closer to the time. For me, this is not a neutral trade. I would go easy with the buy trade now. Let's wait and see. More. Strong sell. Okay, then we take a sell. I would have go for buy, so. <laughs> Now we're getting an opposite trade of me because we are in a um, support area. We are out of the bullish band. We are low in the stochastic. That's a buy trade for me. So now he basically did the opposite. So till now we had some good trades in the start, but now I start to think that the robot we did run in the another video was better than this one. Because I start to see some trades I would not have done. But let's wait and see. Maybe the robot is something I don't do. But uh, in my case, this yeah, this was a buy trade for me. And I don't even need to wait. I know it will be a loser. So let's take a $500 trade here. And let's take... Uh, that's this one. Let's push and he says sell. 
I can concur with that. Let's do that. <coughs> so now let's just wait and see this one. That was a good trade actually. That was a good trade. So then we have traded every single pair. Uh, we will not count the first trade of course in our calculation. <coughs> Or maybe don't count our money before we get them. This one is getting very close now to... Ah, maybe you get a loser. Ha! Huh. Okay. Then we take a thousand trade on this one. Strong buy, let's go. There, okay. <clears throat> then we need to wait a little more again. Let's bring up our calculator. More 36 seconds. We will take the next signal on this one also, as we're taking all everyone. Then uh, let's wait and see. That was a winner. Uh, this robot. Okay, got only three losers in a row, so I will not complain. I will not complain. Um, when I trade myself also, I can get three losers in a row. So, but yeah, um, I think it's this that I'm, when I'm not trading myself, it's not the same fun. But yeah, he got three losers in a row. But when that said, he did also get, let's see here now, he got two winners in a row. Two losers and one winner. Okay, so it's till now it's like a 50-50 win rate. Um, by the way, let's do the calculation. Mm, minus 100. Like I said, I don't count the first win. Because that was just a luck e trade. Minus 100. Minus 250. Minus 500. Minus 1000. Okay, then take the plus, plus 187, no let's wait now, let's wait, I think I did count one wrong, we have three trades with 100 we want to count there, not counting the first trade, because you see down here now, we are not going to count this euro against the Japanese gen. But we're going to count from euro against dollar. So we have three trades with 100. Minus 300, minus 250, minus 500, minus 1000. That's the cost we have with all this trading. Then we take plus 187, plus 187, plus 1800. 870 so we made a profit of 194 dollars i am I'm, I'm quite happy with that uh, i will not discard this robot i'm just comparing it with the robot we had in the last video of course all robots need to be run a little more but the idea here is that you don't need to think by using these robots you can just Follow the signals, use smart engage like you see I do, and you can just, like I said, you don't need to think. You see now I did this video, I did follow the robot 100%, and you can do the same. And we made money, so I'm pretty pleased with that in the end. Uh, like I said, 
uh, when you follow the information below the video, you will get all the three videos, the uh, three videos, uh, three robots, and also I'm looking for more robots. So in the when I get more robots, I will show them in this channel, and then I will add them into the same packet or, or uh, zip file, and you can choose to use whatever robot you feel for. And the best thing is that with, with these robots, it's a worldwide broker, so you don't need to worry about that either you can just use wherever you are in the world you can and you only need ten dollar to get started on this broker and this broker is amazing actually so with that uh, and and by the way today is a saturday so many uh, binary option traders they don't even trade in a saturday because they feel the market is not so good but you see now we did make money on a saturday also with this robot so that's a good thing right so with that a perfect day.